fellow passengers and Fargonizals, my name is Alex Tyler. Welcome to a new game I got, Past Cure. I've been looking at this thing for a couple of days, and it seems very interesting. The way to describe this game is to imagine in Inception mixed with some sort of horror element to it. Think of Dead Space, I would say, or something more along the lines of Evil Within but with more Inception things put into it. I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, yes, this is very interesting. So let's get it on and go from here. Normal, game up, good. I'm really excited for this game and it looks really good. I've, I've, I've been seeing reviews for it and everything, so I thought, hey, why not? Let's see what happens. But uh, yeah, I'm thinking about changing up some things. That, all right, anyway, never mind. My father always said that it's our dreams that reveal our deepest nature. If that is true, then I'm lost. upside down. Oh well, hey. <laughs> what is going on? Where the fuck am I? I don't know, you tell me. I think I'm in the dream world right now, if anything. Ooh, gun. I don't think I'm alone right now. No, I'm not alone. Well, this is interesting. Stay back! Stay away from me! to okay. find a way out of here. Hang on real quick. All right, there we go. I adjusted that volume a little, little, little bit and see what would happen. All right. Nice, nice, nice. That closed up. I wonder if this works like a, every other shooter where you, where you hit you just keep on shooting until it dies, or it's going to be like hit certain parts of the body until they die. Like, um, I, ha I hit them in the heart and they die quicker. I hit them in the head, and it's to kill. Hmm. Well, the red is bad. The red is bad. Okay. No, 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 no. I don't know what's going to happen here, but hey, we'll see what happens next. Hopefully something good will happen here. I don't know, but... There's more of them. Okay. Pretty easy so far, but it's a, be it's a beginning level of everything, so... 
looks like I'm just going in a circle, stuck in a nightmare. What's this? I don't like this, it's very claustrophobic. Don't reload, don't reload, don't reload. You need to be sure where they're coming from. Here. There must be a way out. Yeah, don't worry, buddy. We're gonna find it. Eventually. Headshot. Nice. Alright, I don't know what's happening here, but... Man, I don't like it. It's freaking me out. Come on. There we go. I'm gonna run out of bullets eventually, I don't like this. I'm just going around in a circle right now. Oh, that's not good. There's too many of them. No, there is not. I got him. I need to be more careful with these. Oh jeez. Headshots only now. Great. Uh four shots. I think I'm supposed to die here. I'm not sure. I'm out of bullets. Yay. Great. <laughs> I I don't like this. <laughs> I... I don't know what to do. I don't, what's happening here? I don't know. It's scaring me. What the? It sounds like someone asking me if I'm there or not. I'm not sure. Okay. Um. Either I smoked a pound of. Either I smoked a pound of weed some acid and some shrooms all in the same going or something's really messed up with my brain wait what is this i don't know where am i your brain man am i, I don't know am i dead Okay, follow the glowing fruit. Follow the glowing fruit like this before. It's so empty in here. Yes, it is. I don't like it. It's one of my biggest fears in life is depth. If I don't see the bottom of anything, it freaks me to crap out, and this is scaring me completely right now. Like I don't like this at all. I don't. This is. I don't like this. I look at this and I say, oh, come on, where's the end already? Please, where's the end? Look at that. Punch. Ian, Ian, are you there? Who is that? It's okay, Ian. Come over here. She knows my name. Hello! There's not much time. It must be a way out. Please, wait there. I'm coming. <laughs> All right. Going toward.
word, the woman in the light. Are you God? I think, no, you're not God. No, 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 no. I'm coming, and I have the feeling that I'm gonna shut my face and I'm gonna flip deeper and deeper into the nightmare. Please, Ian, you have to hurry. I can't let her leave. Come on, Ian. Quickly. No! No! Yep. Like all women in my life, they eventually leave me when they want me to come to them. Ain't that right, ex-girlfriends? <laughs> mm. No, now I'm sad. <laughs> this is how the nightmares end. Overpowered. Helpless. A sacrifice to violent gods. I'm sorry, Ian. No! No! That one was new. The girl screaming for help. Where the hell did she come from? I need some water. 18 months of nightmares. Ever since I escaped from that hell. 18 months. Relentless. Unchanging. And suddenly her. She wanted to take me somewhere. What pulled her away like that? I don't know. You're not shaving, you're not taking a bath. 18 months of nightmares, who's screaming, WAKE ME UP BEFORE YOU GO GO! I don't know. <laughs> Ask yourself, buddy. I don't know. You're the one having nightmares. And look at this place. If you're so worried about the woman, find another woman. You're rich enough to afford this place, so find one. Pay for one. I don't know. anymore I idea. mean concentrate I, I, I don't know I mean from 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 the reviews that I watched I was like okay sure that's better if I take the red pill what well, nations are getting worse uh, every day My Xanax, now I'm all right. <laughs> okay. Alrighty then. Marcus? Who else? Sorry to disturb you so late, but I had a bad feeling. How are you? Not good. Nightmares? Hallucinations? Both. But this time it was different. There was a woman, Marcus. Do you know her? No, but she seemed familiar, like I should know her. Do the pills still work? Yes, thank you. Not only for this, for everything. Ian? I mean it. 
I turned up out of nowhere with the weirdest story and you believed me. You took me in, let me stay in the beach house, got me medication. You're my brother, Ian. There's nothing in the goddamn world I wouldn't do for you. Thanks anyway. Thank me later. I have a present for you. I found a trace. The man who took me? There's a traitor trying to sell a remarkable drug. It's called Nexus, and it's supposed to give the user certain abilities. He's selling to a pretty shady organization tomorrow morning. Give me his address. They rented two floors of the Crowley Arms, downtown. The place will be brimming with mercenaries, Ian. I don't care. If he's the lead, I'll be there. Are you sure you can control it? Yes. Good. I will keep on digging and send you the information tomorrow. Rest now. Take the blues if you need them, and gather your strength. We will bring them down, Marcus. We will burn them to the ground. Good night, Ian. Good night. Okay. Out of the ruins of World War II arose another battle. An arms race began with each side employing the brightest and most ruthless scientists to develop a new weapon, the human mind. With government backing, projects like MK Ultra gave birth to a dark age of science. Inhumane experiments were conducted on prisoners, students, and even children. Their goal, unlocking the hidden power and potential of the mind. Most were shut down from their dangerous methods and lack of success. But there are many who believe that they were continued in secret, financed by private organizations hungry for the promised powers. Powers attained through pain and suffering, turning men into monsters. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so the looks of this, it's going to be like... Father always said, no, not only right. the weak speak to themselves. But I like it. It keeps me focused. Helps me make sense of this mess. Three years I'm missing from my memory. Three years between stepping out of a plane from Syria and waking up on a highway in England. I have no idea what went on in that time. But something changed in me. Something I can't explain. My mind is not the same anymore. I can see and do things that should not be possible. I have somehow gained a power that I can barely control. A power that's turning me insane. Whatever has been done to me, I'm still a soldier. And a human being. If I hold on to these thoughts, I will survive. Yeah, so anyway, I was thinking about, like, it's it's based on some horror games that deal with the mind and stuff, and also Inception, where you're, it's kind of an action game at the same time. Mixed of horror elements. So, hey, I don't know. I should check my gun before the morning. I'll need it tomorrow. Okay. Interesting. All right, I'm I'm really enjoying this game so far. It's very modern in, the, in its design too, like very minimalist. I like minimalism in a, in some sense, but like, okay, look at this place. It's very white and normal, and nothing stands out, right? Yet at the same time, the slightest difference in any change will stand out. I think that's really, really, really well done design there. Where you see the slightest change in anything, it just shows anything that is wrong. It Since my everything. abduction, I see the world in a different way. Or should I say, I see it in a different rate. If I concentrate, I can see everything in slow motion. It's beautiful to watch, but leaves a splitting headache. Marcus is a well-connected man, but despite his contacts, our investigation into my disappearance has only drawn blanks. We can't find no one who shares my story, no clues or pieces that fits the puzzle. But this drug, this nexus, 
It's the strongest lead we've had so far. And I think your brother is in on it, because... Why else would he hold you up in a beach I've house? Many accounts of outer body experiences oh God, what throughout the... the world, but nothing like my own. At will, I can leave my body and see myself from the outside. Interesting. All right, then. <laughs> oh wow! Look at that. Look at this, this is cool. Okay. <laughs> nice. I like this. This is cool. I, there's not really there's not really many games that let that let you do melee combat while in a shooting game. It's rare nowadays. Nice. I imagine this game's gonna play like John Wick if I want to. Nice. I like it. This is cool. Uh. <laughs> cool. I like it. I like it. I like it. Nice. It feels good to fight like this. It actually feels nice. And how the funny thing is, this this game was developed by a couple, only by a few people. Like I think about, they said about like 20, 30 people in a. This it, it, is an indie game. That's what I'm trying Marcus to say. Marcus insists that I keep a dream diary. He says it's vital that I record all hallucinations and dreams. The entries are always the same. Horrific locations. Violent deaths. But last night was different. The woman calling my name. She has to mean something. Okay. Interesting. I know what you're thinking. What normal person builds a shooting range in the basement? Well, I'm not a normal person. Besides, it was Marcus' idea. He thought it would help with the recovery. Soldier. Okay. Marcus believes my powers are a gift. I should master them. But he doesn't Come know on. what it's like to feel Come the on. very sanity being drained from your mind. That's why I try to do things the old-fashioned way. If I keep my skills sharp and remember my training, I shouldn't need Interesting. Pretty good at this. Somewhat. Alrighty then. It's getting late. I should get some rest before tomorrow. I want to try this shooting again. Aw, oh, I can't shoot anymore? Come on! Alrighty then. Sure. But um, yeah, I like it. It feels really nice. I like how, I like how sluggish he feels. I like how sticky the controls feel because it feels like I'm actually controlling a person, more or less. Freaking out, man. You need to take the blue pill. Take the blue pill. Don't take the red pill. Take the blue pill. What's that sound? Is there a bird in the house? Okay. All right, hang on real quick. All right, there we go. Sorry for the weird cut. Someone made that and left it here in the house. I don't like this. Go to sleep. Oh god. Oh.
All right. Here's my opinion about what's happening. I am in a coma. That is what my that is what my opinion is. I think that all of this is still in a dream world, and I'm still somewhere. Yes, I yes I believe I have superpowers. I should get some sleep. But I also believe that I I'm go I'm going trippy balls because there's something wrong with my head. I'm 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 emotionally unstable and mentally unstable, and I, I'm also in a coma. Maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong, but we'll see what happens. I should get some sleep. All right, let's get let's get some sleep and go get going. Aw, bedtime. All right. Concentrate. No nightmares. The woman from my dream last night, she has to mean something. I know it. Maybe if I focus on her, she will come back. Well, took the blue pill, so probably beautiful. not. Hmm, interesting. I don't like this. I really don't. It's gonna go bad. <laughs> so whenever you fall asleep, you wake up in a room like this. Hey man, sure. Markings on his what face. The hell is this? <sighs> oh god. It's one of those figures again. This one is different. It's not moving. I have to find a way out before he wakes up. Well, it's playing chess. So my opinion is yeah, I had to play I had to beat him in chess. Which I'm not good at. All the pieces are set. But where's the king? I am the king. Locked up in a cage. Prison walls. Fitting. Wall looks here. Maybe I could break my way out. Wasn't I supposed to find the final piece? Hang on. Sure. All right. Oh. oh, I don't like this. I really don't. It's not a way out, but at least I found the king. And he's gonna start moving, trying to choke me, but rape me. I don't know. It's a losing game. The pieces have been reset. A chess riddle? I haven't got time to play games. I'll find another way out of here. No. Ah, yeah. Fuck. What was that? Did he do that? What kind of game is this? The king? But I just dropped it. 
So you really want that game, huh? You don't know who you are dealing with. I learn from the best. Let's see. The king is useless. I can either move the queen, the pawn, or the rook. That's not true. But if I move any of them, the others will be beaten. Is that what it's about? Sacrifice? All right. Like my old man told me, sacrifice the weakest piece. You don't have to sacrifice anything. Look at that. What the hell? Why can't I breathe? What's going on? Fuck. How do I stop this? It must be the game. I have to put the palm back. It stopped. When the pawn is in danger, so am I. Is this supposed to mean something? That you're the pawn. Am I the pawn? Yeah. Are these people... Who would the other pieces be? Either way, there's only two other choices here. Sacrifice the queen, or the rook. The rook. Never sacrifice your queen. Always use the queen for something better. And you weren't going to lose the, you weren't going to lose the, uh, the pawn there. You had an easy way to get another piece there. But hey, whatever. I'm tripping balls. My research on astral projection. What's it doing here? Am I able to use my powers in here? I've never tried that in a dream before. Powers. So, what does that mean exactly? I don't know. I mean, hey, I'm just playing this game here. That's all I'm doing. I wonder if there's a range to this. Guessing by that. I've never projected that far before. I hope I can reach it. Think about this. I'm in, I'm in control here. This is my brain. Yeah, this guy has is such a nut job. He can't control anything. Like I don't know what's happening right now. I mean, this guy is losing control of his mind and it's affecting him. Shit, you're overdoing it, Ian. Lucky there are some blues here. I can't keep on with a migraine like this. I need to use that in order to get back.
interesting. Okay, sure. So I can only use my powers for a certain amount of time before the, I, I have to get more of. Great. I wonder, oh, I, I can already see this being a problem. It's gonna be like Deus Ex where I run out of battery meter when I need, when I use my abilities. This is gonna be really tough in the long run, I bet. Cause like when I'm fighting a large group of people or something, I know I can see this already being a problem. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Fuck. More switches. Let's look at this. I had to hit the red and the yellow first. Alright, then click you. Okay. Interesting. And then I have to go around here. It, this one inside of here. Oh man, this guy's gonna go crazy nuts. Whatever this guy is taking, it ain't it ain't normal. This this is like hallucinogen. It's like hallucinogens. Just like messing up my brain and everything. Jeez, look at all this. This ain't normal. This dude ain't normal. I know that's for sure. gift you gave me that old ugly baseball bat you thought it would impress me <laughs> it did it had been such an awful day i was scared and desperate and lonely i see what and i gotta then, do here there was you standing in the hallway cheeks red with anticipation do you remember what you said <laughs> happy v-day you thought that adults talked like this, always in abbreviations. You wanted to sound cool. Screw you, lady. I don't like you. I fell in love with you then and there. I knew that you would be my savior, my protector, my love. You would never forsake me, never betray me, never forget me. You remember me, Ian? Don't you? Sure I do. That's why I'm going for all of this to, to remember you by. It all sounds so familiar, but I can't remember this. At least I'm out by the exit. That's the most important thing. Okay. I need to get across. And the next part is over there. I think there's a bug there or something, I'm not sure. <laughs> I 
astral projection hurts my brain. This ain't normal. Alright, this should help out a little bit. Since I'm a little bit closer. Okay, come on. Come on, reach the target. Okay, that solved that problem. Next up, I need to go over here to this one. This really isn't a maze as much as a, a method for me to exercise my brain skills. Okay then. Okay. So the thing is that people don't realize nowadays is that the brain is a muscle. It is a thing that you have to exercise in order to, for it to be good. And if this guy is losing his memories, he just needs to exercise his brain more. But since he's having nightmares, it's Crap. preventing him from doing that. Back to square one. I'm going in fucking circles. At least yes. this guy has to move anywhere. You need to beat the game. That's what you need to do. The pieces have been reset. All right. Time for a second go. This time I will sacrifice a rook. Okay. Sure. This is getting really trippy and I don't like it. I don't like what's going on right now. I really, really don't. My notes on perception. I guess this is going to involve some time manipulation. Okay. Oh, so I use that. Okay, nice. Okay, that's how you do it then. So when I do this, it's normal. I move at normal speed, but... Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Ah, oh, dang it. Screw you. on perception. I guess this is going to involve some time manipulation. This is the tutorial on how to use my brain. No, 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 that's too fast. I need to come across when it starts doing it. Like that. Man, his abilities don't last that long, do they? Okay, wait, 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 and let's get moving now. Nice. He's okay. Okay, so I can use the other abilities still. Uh, there's a guy there. catches me. Alright then. Um, hmm. Puzzle game. How do I do this? Oh, I see. He looks the other way and I have to go around him there. Okay. Shit. I'm not alone. I don't have a weapon. 
Maybe I don't need to kill him. Gonna have to sneak by. It would help if he was moving a bit slower. I did it. Yay, screw you, buddy. More of these guys in here. Oh, there will be. Don't worry, buddy. There's going to be tons of them because, you know, you're going totally insane. It was all white. Now everything's turning black, rootish, and blowing red. And, ugh, God, no. More abilities. Great. And, and popping pills. Okay shot, that's the thing. Eh. Alright. They've stopped. I can't wait to get out of here. Me too! Me too! I really don't like this. I really don't. Nice. Got extra one just in case and my abilities are just fine. I think I can use my slow down -y time thingy to get around better. I have to learn how to crouch eventually, don't I? I can, tar I can use the tar target vital points. Oh, so I was right before. basically just take my time in shooting them. Nice. I like this. I like this a lot. It feels nice. Totally my fault there. <laughs> Jeez, I'm losing the tutorial. This this makes me look bad. You know, you realize that, right? So when I get surrounded by enemies, I can use that ability of mine, and that helps me fight them better. Okay, nice. I like that ability. I like. I like this already. Good. And... Nice. So, if I hit them in the, just straight in the chest, it's bad. But if I kill them easily like this... And take my time shooting them... Nice, nice, nice. I know I'm now getting a hang of it somewhat. 
I like this a lot. Interesting. Very interesting. Probably gonna go back to the rook and thing. And, oh, crap, no. Okay. So this is probably the final test. I remember that song. Marcus and I had to practice it over and over. One of Dad's favorites. One of mine too. Like Beethoven's 14th. The sonata he made. Ian. How nice of you to come. I'm very happy with your progression. The nurses say you've been a very good boy this week. This is not good. You may sit on my lap. This is not good. I don't like this at all. Your dad was a scientist that experimented no. on you. That's what happened. There's one thing I wanted to talk to you about. There is a force in the world that is stronger than fear. Even stronger than love or hate. That force is duty. Good men are governed by their duty. A deep feeling duty. <laughs> duty has us do things that are beyond our own morality. Shaking every pillar of our personality to the core. There Daddy, I made a duty. Oh, crap. I did not expect that. I was, I just thought, hey, why not? Sure. Oh, crap, no. So I had to fight while doing that. Great. Now, there's one okay. thing I wanted to talk to you about. There is a force in the world that is stronger than fear, even stronger than love or hate. That force Get this. is duty. Good duty? men are governed by their duty. A deep feeling for right and wrong. Duty has us do things that are beyond our own morality. Okay. Shaking every pillar of our personality. This guy's a pill popper. You do, you do realize there are this, right? monsters in this world, Ian. Not hiding under your bed, but in plain sight. Smiling at you across oh, okay. the breakfast table. Staring at you in the mirror. There are abysses in every man and every woman. And duty helps us control them. What the? Control ourselves. Screw that. If we lose control, the world burns and the monsters win. Will you remember? Take him out. Okay. Interesting. Good boy. Now running at your brother. He's been a naughty boy this week. And daddy needs to have a word with him. I wonder if Marcus would remember this. Dad's lectures. ability to fight first and choosing which ones to attack first and it's going to be very very difficult in the end I bet but hey we'll see what happens knowing my luck and knowing how freaky this game is going to be eventually in the end I I'm guessing it's going to be really really stupid eventually but hey whatever everything will be fine right Ian Oh, 
this is not good. Uh, put hands on the board. See what happens. I remember this. This was my hand. And this one was... They're trying to make Let you... Go. They're trying to make you forget something. You... You were in my house. Who are you? This is not good. this game about nightmares horror shooting guys in the face them shooting me in the face slowing down time having out of body experiences yeah this is nice it's time mm. to open your eyes get this guy I don't Yeah, I'm feeling good. Ready to roll. Wonderful. I've got the name of the seller and some intel on the buyer, so get your gun, take the car, and go to the hotel. I'll text you what I've got. Thanks, Marcus. Denada, hermano. Be careful. Oh, so that's where his accent is. Something doesn't feel right. The dream last night. I don't know what to make of it. The memories of my father. Mm. The voice of the woman. They all feel Wait so a minute. Near. Like I should know them. You see that, right? Were they real memories? And the guy with the beard. He seemed to know me too. There's there's something around the the chess piece. Like there's something I don't know, whatever. Anyway, my name is Alex Tyler. I'm really enjoying this game so far. It's very interesting to say the least. I think that this guy is really messed up the brain. Something bad happened. And yes, this talks about MK Ultra. It talks about mind experiments done by the government, and we can clearly see something was done to him to make him this way. But something isn't right with him right now. And yes, he's losing control of his powers, and or his powers is making him feel like this. Either way, I think that something bigger is going on right now, and we're gonna find it out together in the next episode. Anyway, my name is Alex Tyler. See you guys later.